All right, YouTube, good morning. Uh, welcome to the garage. Uh, should be day 49 today, but got other problems. Uh, kind of sucks, but I am hurt, injured, whatever you want to call it. Um, I think I can still squat and I think I can lunge. So yesterday afternoon, my cousin came over and we were benching in the garage. Uh, we've done this the last several weekends in a row on Saturdays. Um, just hanging out. He was one of my original training partners, all that stuff way back in the day. So he's been coming over here. I uh, made a mistake, I guess, uh, and pushed too, too much. I wasn't feeling great or anything yesterday, but the weekend before, I had got my bench up to 215. Uh, I had tried 225, didn't make it. Um, got it off my chest, but missed it halfway up. Uh, wanted to try it again this weekend. I got it a little bit higher this time and then went Tried it again, changed my grip on the bar, and something went wrong at the bottom. I've never felt this sensation before. Um, but yeah, at the bottom of the press, just, dude, it felt like my entire shoulder came out of socket for a split second um, uh, on my right side, and everything moved to the right. My pec is swollen right now my shoulder just hurts i don't think i've like tore my pec in a bad way it's not bruising it's not hanging by my nipple you know common signs that you've completely tore your pec but i'm i'm hurting pretty bad uh i can lift my shoulder i mean i'm not gonna lie that hurts and i can like do some of this shit but it really, really hurts. So I'm not sure what's going on. Uh, that's my goal today. Uh, let's just try and assess what I can do. I'm gonna try and feel some of this stuff out. Um, see how bad it is. Obviously not really gonna bench. If I can get my shoulder like feeling better, uh, I might try like the tens on flat dumbbell bench just to test the waters. I was had a two and a half pound plate last night that I was messing with. Um, ice, uh, ibuprofen, all that stuff. Um, uh, I think I have an idea how I can squat though. <laughs> so y'all gonna enjoy that. Um, uh, just to keep my arm a little bit, keep it low. So, <laughs> but anyways, I don't want this to derail me. Now I'm gonna take it very seriously. It is very seriously like I could better, like it was a struggle to get dressed. Yesterday I had to have uh, my girlfriend help me take my shirt off and stuff. Um, uh, she helped me fashion like a temporary little sling just to get some pressure off my arm. All that kind of stuff. So, but anyways, so I don't want it to derail me. I think we're going to be okay. I need to just kind of let it rest. Uh, kind of do some PT moves and stuff uh, that I'll do here. We're gonna just assess the situation, all that kind of jazz. So, but anyways, yeah, still gonna try and squat, still gonna lunge a little bit. Probably not gonna go the full 400. I don't, I didn't sleep very good because I couldn't get comfortable. And uh, yeah, so whatnot. Gonna just kind of auto regulate, back it down a little bit today. Um, and truth be told, it's 20 degrees outside right now. So yeah, more concerned with this than the lunges right now. We just want to keep the street going. So we're going to do some work on that. But I'm going to quit rambling and get to it. So yeah, that's the goal from here. We're going to just, we're going to get warmed up. We are going to squat. Uh, and then I'm going to try and assess the uh, shoulder issue. So, all right, on to it. All right, well, <clears throat> I was very worried about today uh figuring out how <clears throat> all this was gonna go um uh yeah it doesn't look like it here but because i can still move like in lateral movements and stuff 
I was trying to just get my shoulders warm, all that kind of stuff. This was, you can see on my face, was incredibly painful. Um, uh, it, yeah. It, I did real think I was going to pass out for whatever happened. So, I just wanted to diagnose how bad it was. So, this was kind of the warm-up I did. Just get everything loose, try and stretch it out, um, figure out what is wrong, like how limited I could be. So... We did that for about 15 minutes. I took forever to warm up. So uh, squats were whatever you can see. That I don't even have the safety arms on the rack because they're left over from the bench session yesterday. The um, uh, bands are on the ground. I guess adding in an extra heavy bench session in hindsight was not the smart way. So sessions that y'all haven't seen on Saturdays with my cousin for like the last three weekends been maxing out every Saturday in addition to the heavy Tuesday so yeah I've never had anything quite like this happen to me before so we'll just figure out where we go from here but managed squats form was all right um uh Bar 95, 135, and then we worked up to 150. There's going to be a break here in the video where I talk a little bit more um, uh, and whatnot. So we got this rep. It, it was all right, but <clears throat> still have some more diagnosing to do after this. Okay, so I can still squat. That's good news. I'm going to stop it here, 155, mostly because the bar sitting on top of the shoulder and the pec is, is hurting. I could, I can, I can push through it. It's not that bad, but I'd rather be safe than sorry right now. So now, I guess we're going to have to figure out if I can even press. So I've been doing the shoulder warm-ups and stuff that you've seen and whatnot. So I can't, I'll figure it out in a minute if I'm gonna try with my broomstick on the bench or just do dumbbells, but I'll do a few more shoulder warm up things and uh, yeah, just see what we can do. So just finding out how screwed I am, if I am, is uh, the main goal right now. So, all right, at least I can squat, so that's a good sign. So I can at least do something kind of want to test out a deadlift position, but I notice whenever I reach down, it really hurts my pec. So if I reach down and kind of come across ooh, like that in my body, that's when I feel it. So I'm really going to be, I'm going to be mad if I can't deadlift. I mean, honestly, take the squat away, take the bench away. I'll be all right. I would not want to not be able to deadlift. So, oh well. All right, let's see what we can do. So I decided to tr do a little bit of incline because it took some of the pain off of my pec and put it more in the shoulder. So I just wanted to see, uh, just grab the fives, could gingerly move them. And I'll be honest, this was pretty hard to do. If I could pronate my wrist, it, it felt better, but it still hurt. So then I decided the best thing to do is just get my broomstick and work on range of motion and try and get it back. So I did this about three, three or four sets, super slow, just stretching it out. Because uh, it right now it fe or it felt more like a range of motion issue, but swelling was still there in the pec, all that kind of stuff. So I don't know. I just felt like it was more important for me to get under the bar um uh, or a bar you know what i'm saying broomstick uh and work it out i could do that i tried to go wider grip here that was no not great um uh, definitely more pain when i went wider grip so then you can see i narrow went back in and uh that was pretty much it so just did this and wanted to figure out where i stood uh after that we went and did some lunges but uh, everything hurts i'm kind of mad at myself but wondering where we're going to go from here um uh so don't want to be deterred setbacks happen um uh so it is what it is 
All right, so we just got done lunging. I think overall today was a positive. And I apologize using my handheld tripod right now. I'm uh, not sure where my big tripod is. Um, I've had to swap vehicles at the business and I'm not in my normal car. So I think it's somewhere in one of the cars trunk. So I apologize for that. Um, uh, but anyways, I think today was positive. I uh, can at least do the proper bench motion. Uh, the incline with 10 was way, way too much pain to push through. Uh, I can do the motion with the broomstick. So that might just be my plan for this week, depending on how I feel. I'm really not supposed to press until Tuesday. So that's two days from now. Uh, and that might be what I do. So either that or just get the, the main gym has eight pound dumbbells. So just do that. Just do sets of 10 to 20, very light, very slow. Just start working range of motion, all that kind of stuff. I mean, fundamentally everything feels okay in there. Like it doesn't feel like there's anything detached or anything like that. Now, when I was working with the broom, it felt like my pec was like moving, if that makes sense, like pieces of it were like, I don't know, it was almost like it was refiguring out what to do. It was very strange. Uh, like I was describing earlier what went wrong. I was at the bottom. I didn't, uh, with 225, getting ready to press it up. It had been the second time I tried it. I changed hand positions. Uh, I went to press it and I felt everything go right. And if you've ever held like a crinkle ball for like a cat, that's what it felt like inside with my muscle for a moment. Like I could feel it kind of crinkling with that same feel. It was like weird. Uh, never had anything like that. Could not, could not get it off of me. Uh, thank God Matthew was there because I've been stuck. Uh, I would have had to just dump it and I hope I didn't get hurt. The bar probably would have flung off into the wall over here. But yeah, and then got up an entire arm, chest, tricep was numb. Um, I thought I was going to throw up for a minute from the pain. It hurt so bad. Uh, but yeah, so, but today was a good sign. So something to build off of. I can squat, all that stuff. I'm not quitting. I'm not fucking quitting. I'm not missing I'm going to get under 200 pounds. I don't care. I will get to uh, 190 pounds, 190. I don't care. This will not, if I can do it without bench press. So <laughs> I just want to be somebody on YouTube that someone sees this and like, by God, I can be a stubborn ass and get my way there too. So look at that guy. He did not quit. He beat his head every day against the wall and got there. It's not the most efficient. It's probably not the best, but that's the strategy I got. So, but anyways, uh, I'm going to take this as a positive. We're going to go get groceries. I'm going to stop by the store, make sure everything, all my coolers, freezers, trucks running, all that jazz. Huge week, uh, under two weeks of Thanksgiving. So that was my last thing about it last night. I was like, oh God, if I'm like not capable of working, that's a problem. Let my team down all that kind of stuff. So I think we're good. Uh, but anyways, so we're gonna get set for today, uh, get focused for the week, gonna go dominate. Uh, hopefully have a great two weeks. Um, uh, practice all this discipline uh, from my team. Uh, personal discipline carry over to being a good leader. Uh, all that kind of stuff. So, but anyways, thank you all for watching this. Um, I'm glad I don't seem to be incapacitated at least so we can do some stuff so anyways hope you get one percent better hope you get a small win today and i will see you next time